A hot topic on the election trail was the housing market, and team leader and vice president of St. Jean Realty, Michael St. Jean, is here to discuss the liberal housing plan and what it means for prospective home buyers and renters. Good morning. Good to see you. Good morning, Bob. Nice to see you as well. So this uh, three-step plan was announced by Justin Trudeau on the campaign trail in Hamilton. What do you like about it and not like? Well, I think um, to sum it up, I mean, regardless of the party that would have won, um, you know, we see a lot of very similar policies across the board. Um, I think there's definitely um, some positive, but I think, you know, uh, regardless of the party, uh, there, you know, some of the key issues that I think really needed to be, uh, you know, uh, looked at were, were not, were kind of overlooked. Um, what was but that? there are, there are, there are some positive things. I mean, supply is sort of the number one issue. You know, the real root of the housing crisis is the the fact that we just simply don't have enough homes. And so we would have liked to see more in the way of real actionable items that would, uh, you know, increase supply. Um, and, and, you know, there was lots of numbers being thrown around by all parties. But unfortunately, um, you know, numbers are sort of numbers. And I think the reality of what that will look like over the next few years is not going to be um, really anything significant that is going to change the supply side of the, the housing crisis. Now, there's a lot of incentives from a, a TFSA that uh, uh, first-time home buyers can use and uh, many other plans, but uh, these are basically subsidies. And won't subsidies add to housing prices? Yeah, and, and that's really the problem. I think um, the approach uh, from all parties has been to sort of uh, try to assist uh, home buyers, most specifically millennial, you know, first-time home buyers. Um, in trying to obtain a home versus looking at, you know, the reason why housing is so expensive and so sparse. So you increase um, the you demand know, with, with these uh, subsidies and then with the supply problems you talked about, that doesn't bode well for the pricing. No, I, I mean, reducing, you know, CMHC mortgage insurance, um, you know, all of these other items, they're all, you know, just going to, you know, create more demand for the little housing that we have available on the market. Um, you know, home renovation tax credits, um, you know, anti-flipping taxes, foreign buyer taxes, all of those things are really, um, you know, little Band-Aid fixes that won't really change the status quo at all. And really, it all comes down to if we can increase the number of homes available significantly because we're so far behind now, um, then, you know, you come to a point where there is now enough homes available for everyone that seeks one and prices start to level off. And, you know, over time, as incomes rise, they become affordable once again. But it's been so long, um, so many years where we've been, you know, not building enough homes that, you know, it would take even with the right plan a number of years for us even to begin to catch up. Uh, protecting uh, buyers as well. It was a big uh, part of the plan and transparency. So where are we at with eliminating bidding wars and blind bidding? Well, I think bidding wars, you can't eliminate bidding wars when there's just simply more people looking for homes. Right. Than there but the are process homes. now on blind bidding. Yeah, I think, um, you know, some of the some of the items mentioned in the federal uh, party plans for housing were sort of interesting because some of them really fall out of the you know, jurisdiction of the federal government and, uh, you know, the provincial government and other bodies sort of oversee um, the regulation as far as real estate is concerned in Ontario. And so I think it's a bit of a stretch to think that the federal government is going to be able to do anything directly. And given that a lot of the, you know, real estate uh, rules and regulations were just looked at only two or three years ago under the Kathleen Wynne government. I don't see them going back to the drawing board and rewriting all of the rules that they've just reviewed and sort of put back in place. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, anything is possible, but I think um, that, you know, it's it's a little bit far out uh, okay. at this point as far as I'm concerned. Yeah. Okay. Wish we had more time, but uh, we'll uh, link up your website and socials at chh.com. Always good to chat with you. Michael St. Jean from St. Jean Realty. Thank you.